What? Huh? Huh? Is the mic on? Yeah. I got some big news, man. Oh. Not really, I'm just kidding. I <laughs> got you, motherfucker. Where's the grinder? <laughs> Did I borrow the skateboard? No. <laughs> you can't. I wanna have to fucking come to the hospital and film you later. I'm gonna go to the skate park after work. Shut the fuck up. We can go to the skate park for the vlog if you like. You wanna go take a couple of runs real quick? Just a few rail slides or something. Oh yeah, totally. Never in a skateboard? I mean, no. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. All board slides, but you know, whatever. Dane Bakes. I want them. They're right there, right there. I s yeah, I'm buying them. You said retail, right? I mean, for you. Thanks, though. Alright. You're gonna wear them? I'm, I'm considering. I'm keeping them dead stop for now. I'm gonna I'm gonna make them part of my collection so I can get to 40. That's oh, how many pairs do you have? This will be 39. Oh shit! Yeah. And I got a pair coming for you. That's what I'm saying, dog. So a fucking friends and family pair. This might be worth it. Maybe one day these will resell for a lot. I don't know. Oh, you know. They resell for a lot. You're fucking giving me the goddamn profit, motherfucker. No, I'm talking like 10 years up the line. Well, in 10 years, if you sell them, I'll call you and be like, from my fucking space yacht, I'm gonna be like, uh, greetings, Earthling. <laughs> I see you've sold the babe dames from the 747 warehouse event. Are they coming out again? Uh, I don't know. I haven't even paid attention to it because I don't care. I haven't either, but I just see so much hype around it. Like, I see videos around and shit. I'm like, are people really sweating these? I guess they are. So you're hype beasts, is what you're saying. No, 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 no. No, no. Uh, just troll wear them, dog. Just wear them. Okay, well. <laughs> Maybe that's the boat. We're not sure. I'm definitely gonna use these to troll. Tattoos at what time? Noon? 12.30. I gotta go talk to I've been shipping since 8. Nice. Right, so we all shipped? Uh, no. We still, they gotta, I mean, tomorrow will be the latest. Right. Like, the, it will mostly be out by tonight, or Brandy will finish folding tonight. I'm staying until 8 or 9 tonight. I'd like to have it all done tomorrow. Yeah. All these people this morning were like, well, it's cool that Teddy gave away money for shoes, but you know, there's a lot of people in the world that could really use money and don't need to fucking do shoes. I wrote a tweet this morning that said, for anybody that took issue with me uh, donating shoes yesterday instead of to charity, go ahead and screenshot your random donation from yesterday and I'll match it. Nobody yet. Go to dog style. Go, go. Have a good day. Try not to shit on any fucking $1,500 shoes today. There he is. It's twice now. Good man. Sit. Yes. Take those babies. You're not leaving them. Oh, yeah. Can't get my Dane Fours. Review coming soon. I got the poop stain out a little bit. Have you tried those, um... People want me to use those markers. Is that what you're about to ask me? By Magic White, Magic uh, Eraser. I haven't used that. Dude, that really, I remember like walls and like, you yeah. wipe shit and it comes back. Yeah, we'll look, we'll try. Then you're just kind of painting the booth, so it's not a big deal, I guess, but I don't know. It's not my preferred Yeah. Method. Yeah, that'd be cool, maybe we'll see what his deal is. See what Mr. Kool-Aid's doing. Yeah. Hit a store for me, please, sir. Yeah. So we snowboard tomorrow? Did you hear me about the store? Oh, yeah, the store? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You just said yeah as if like... No, you said hit the store. I was like, yeah, we go snowboarding tomorrow. And then you're like, you hear me about the store? And I'm like, what? Yeah. 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 Tomorrow you want to go? I mean, yo, I, like, Brandy definitely wants to go. Like, well, she's going to have everything done Wednesday. So we can all go Thursday. And we can all just go Thursday. But you and I can go Wednesday. And we can all go Thursday. Yeah, that's true. Like. I'm trying to eat mushrooms, dog. You're trying to eat. Yeah. You're trying to watch well, me maybe, eat mushrooms. Well, maybe. And leave you. Like, maybe t you book the place. Uh, I just went the wrong fucking way. God damn it. <laughs> this is so annoying. Oh. So it's okay, Aaron. <laughs> now we're in a tunnel and I can't get the GPS. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Wait, what was I saying? Oh, I'll bring you up there. We'll snowboard during the day and then I just leave you. And you stay at the place, eat your mushroom, enjoy your evening, and then the next day, Brandy and I will roll up and be on the mountain. And whenever you feel like coherent and coming out of your- What do you mean whenever? I'll wake up in the morning and be ready to go. All right, some people like to relax the next the day. The next day after mushrooms? Dog, the yeah. day after eating mushrooms, I'm ready to fucking conquer the world. Good. What are you talking about? You just clear all the cobwebs out of your Good. head. That's Why are we so far away from the light? Because I am trying to this is the worst. This is really the worst. I, 
I try to get the GPS. I gotta get lanes over. Everybody hates me out here today. You hate me this morning. What did I do? Listen, if I hated you, I would say, I hate you. Wow, those words are coming out of my mouth. Me yelling about something doesn't mean I hate anything. It means that I'm trying to very forcefully get the energy away from my motherfucking life. And I'm like making it goddamn apparent that I don't like it in hopes that people won't do it anymore. It doesn't really work, but it makes me feel better in the moment, so. That's amazing. Yeah. Let's go tomorrow. If you're down, I'll get up super early. We'll drive up there, I'll have blunts rolled. Um, I mean, I'm down. As long as everything's done, I'm down. I'll be done. If Brandy has to ship anything else, she won't come. I'll talk to her about it. This way you and I can ride for a whole day. I don't have to worry about her bitch ass. <laughs> I'm not saying Say that. It. No, Say it. No. No, but uh then you know well, what and don't then you tomorrow. Have to worry about? What don't you have to no, worry because about? then tomorrow Hold on, I need to know <laughs> what don't you have to worry about though? I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Keep it up, like, um... In one mile, you know, turn right onto East Mississippi Avenue. Tomorrow! <laughs> tomorrow, then, Brandy and I, you know, I could ride more at her pace and kind of go down the trails that she wants to do. Mm. And you'll probably take me on trails that are too hard for me, but I'm going to try and keep up, and I think I can learn I mean, I'll be taking more. it pretty easy because of my knee, but... That's true, too, so it might be a perfect combo, dude. Mm, I'm down. Do you want to get more and go up there? Listen, I've been leaving with her at yeah, 6... She don't scare me, motherfucker. 6.30? I don't sleep. I rest. 6.30, Dog. I pick you up. I, We're up there by 8, yeah. eating breakfast. Every minute you're late after 6.30, you owe me $100. Okay. Yeah. All right. You heard that? Yeah. Just let me set an alarm. So that's 6.35, that's $500. Yeah. 6.36? $600. All right. Just so we're clear. But and then we have to, on the way up, we have to stop and get my gear. The maximum that I can lose, though, we have to have a max. <laughs> It'll be next year's epic ski pass. <laughs> if I'm more than 10 minutes late, <laughs> I'll just buy your ski pass Fair. next year. Right. But I'll be there at 6.30. Also, dude, if Brandy wants to come tomorrow, fine. She can sit in the lodge in between. She knows she... <sighs> This is always weird on camera because it sounds like. What? No, what I'm talking about. Just keep it real, dog. I am. I'm just trying to find out who you really are. What's up? What's going on? If everything's printed tonight and she gets it done, then maybe she can come tomorrow too. That's what I'm saying. Gotcha. Yeah. But she'll go to the lodge if things get too rough hey, out there. Hey, bitch, go to the lodge. <laughs> You're not made for this. You can't do the spins and twists like us men here. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like with your little scrawny ass, you'd be able to twirl all about, be able to tumble weeds around in the snow. But no, no, you leave it up to us, the men. Yeah, do a 360. I tomorrow. heard you did a fucking 720 just from head to toe. I did. It's <laughs> yeah. more like a 900. Like uh, a lot of the first person shooters are similar. I'm not so talking about video get... games, so. I'm talking about life as a video game. <sighs> Shit. I didn't know. <laughs> I thought you were just talking. He's got the PUBG backpack We right does. It's level two. <laughs> it's total <laughs> level two. Yo, dog, where'd you get that level two at? <laughs> we got the car. Get in the... What is the car called? The Dossi? Dossier? Dude, that's... I was wilding. When I was just leaving, she goes, you get these for... And I'm like, no, I really don't want them. She's like, it'll help my points. It re I could really use the points. I want two Red Bulls. I said, I'm going to die. She said, you're not going to die. I drink five a day. <laughs> I drink five Red Bulls a day and I yeah, always man. wear camo. Hello. How y'all doing? What? Nothing. Hey, same time. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Chilling, dog. Living. I got a mom up there yelling at me. She wished she knew that her daughter had to have her ID to get that today. Oh, I mean, it's illegal to not have that. Yeah, exactly. That's what I just said. <laughs> like, I mean, you not to make me sound like some fucking step parent, but. Fran, did you see how many comments you got on YouTube from yeah, stroking sure. that bong? You stroked the bong. I Playing with the little like I know they were cool, but that. I like didn't realize that I was uh, doing it until like a minute in. She's one that much. Sean Linda has out of here, guys. Yeah, he is. And everybody's out of their goddamn mind for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, most of y'all motherfuckers are out of your minds. You don't think you're out of your mind? Not damn fine. You don't think that you've been out of your mind in the past, like, month or two? I'm fucking grounded, bro. Bitch. <laughs> you're as grounded as a fucking hot air balloon. Thanks. We're all crazy, bro. That's fine. I'm, that's fine. I'm, crazy. Crazy. I'm a genius, too. I'm not as bad as 
What? Why? What conversation are you staying out of? You say the genius too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not even a fucking apple genius, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one expects you to be all cheery. I'm just tired, man. I like that I'm not the only one that gets overly paranoid. Like not anymore. But like DIA, it's a long drive. Like it takes a minute to get to like your train. I'm just tired. Yeah, no one expects you to be all cheery. I'm just tired, man. I like that I'm not the only one that gets overly paranoid. Like not anymore. But like DIA, it's a long drive. Or like it takes a minute to get to like your train. Uh, sometimes you know, the DIA has to go joint outside of the fucking area in the park. You're out of the hitting airport. goddamn severe. You know? Thanks for the strengths in the bathroom. Yeah. I hang a bong up to the pilots and we just fuck. <laughs> Dad. Yeah. I'm like, alright, let's fly, boys. <laughs> I can't take jokes. I'm grounded. I'm not grounded. What? Grounded? You just said you were grounded <laughs> fucking 20 minutes ago. Oh. And me and Teddy are going snowboarding tomorrow. What? And then we're all going on, <laughs> on Thursday. Unless if uh, everything, we can get it, yeah. everything done like tonight, I'll stay till right. midnight and ship it. You can come both days. We have a vlog to do. Like, bring well, me I, a vlog. If you want, if you like, I could tell you what he really said this morning about it, or you can wait for the vlog tonight and see what he said on the way here. What did he say? It's up to you. I can tell you either way. <laughs> He's giving me the wave off. Like, I need to go get food. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't say anything. What did you say? I missed the first day. On the second day, it's fine because then I can just go with you all day. Paraphrasing. Wash it, it's nice and crispy. Fucking nerd tats. Oh, it was fucking nerdy. Well, I had like an hour. Did you do like, it in the hotel, like a gangster, or what? And he drew it on like, it was like 1.30, I'm like, I had a light. Oh, nice. I, was like, I don't know, Will. Gangster shit. Uh, fuck. Happy cry. Happy cry. Shorty looking mad thick. Looks good, girl. I think I, when I bring Teddy back, he's gonna let me borrow a skateboard. This is going to be embarrassing. I'll be taking you to the hospital later. Excuse me? A what? Half pipe twist. What's that? Kick flip rail glides. You know, skater shit. Sports, 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 sports! Fucking gourmet shit, brah. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It just it looked down weird. and I was like, is that, well if it was tattooing, it'd be it. spreading. <laughs> There's only a thousand of those. You're doing crazy, man. I don't think you can wear it, so it's Fucked up one. What'd you fuck up? The edge is sticky. That's fine, I cut it off afterwards. Oh. Here, now look at the speed. Yeah, Whoa. try not to cut Whoa. the other sticker. Whoa. Okay, I'm done. Adidas with the milk carton sway. Tight. <laughs> Hello. What is this doing on the bed? Did you chew my shoe? No, I don't think so. Hey, what's up? What's up? I'm home. Hey, come here. Come here. Hi. Whoa, two toys. What's up? Two toys. Dang, son. How's your pickup, too? Dang. Am I sleeping? Am I sleeping? What are you doing? What are you doing?
today is a little all over. I've got to uh, wrap today's vlog up and then start editing so that I can try to get everything done before the morning because apparently we're going snowboarding, I guess. So my knee's feeling good. I think I'm, I think I'm, I think I'm good to go. So I am gearing up for another happy cry drop this weekend. So I have to like get some color combos down and hope and pray these hoodies come in in time. But let's talk shoes. Today I wore the AM4 LA. Adicon. <laughs> uh, some people are saying this is now called the AM4 747, but the box says LA, so I'm going with the box. It looks like an old, or maybe even current produce box. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I saw a produce box. It's a cool touch. Special boxes always um, help us feel better about things. And then you get an Adidas produce pouch as well. Bop, bop, bop. And then there's a, I don't know what this is for. This has some exclusive content if you're in the UK. I don't really know. And then, so all of the, if you don't know about AM4 or the AMs, um, so Speed Factory. All right, so let's start in the beginning here, I guess. So Speed Factory is Adidas's new way of, imp or they're implementing a new manufacturing process. So how things work now, it's basically you have designers, and I'm dumbing this down, but you have designers that design a shoe, testers get feedback, alter, manufacture, and the same pair all across the world purchase. People complain, people flex. That's how it normally works, which is cost efficient and just, you know, the way things go. But what Adidas is trying to do, or doing, I guess, I don't think they're trying, I think they're doing it, is change that process on many levels, but what they want to do is put these different factories everywhere. Right now, the only one that I'm aware of is in Germany. What they're doing right now is they're getting feedback from, it says groups of individuals in each area. So, so far it's been Paris, London, and now we have LA. Uh, so a group of people in those areas are giving feedback in the design process according to the area they're in. So for a runner in London, the terrain and the experience being different than a, London, a runner in Paris, terrain experience being different than a runner in New York, LA, so have you, so forth and so on. So that's the idea. I think the real idea, I think that's the macro level idea. I think the micro level idea is eventually you and I and anyone else will be able to input our data uh, from our foot, have our foot 3D mapped, and then essentially print out a shoe that fits your foot specific. Have a left foot that's bigger than a right foot, you'll be able to fix that by literally having these shoes basically custom made for your foot. I think that's where it's going. I think first, as it rolls out, as it builds up, because obviously this is gonna take time to build. One factory now, I'm sure, plans to put factories everywhere, um, and eventually we'll get to this point, but right now, just sourcing information from a collective group of runners in that area is a, is a cool idea, and it's obviously the beta version of what soon to come. But that's what Speed Factory is, and that will change fucking everything, basically. I mean, ridiculous, that's, that's a ridiculous idea. It's also obviously where the future is going, so. Super cool, um, but to be honest, when I first saw the AM4 Londons, and when I first saw the AM4 Paris, which the Paris originally was like a women's colorway, and I think it was still just a women's colorway, and people were getting the wrong size at 747. I was not like super hype. Like I never really like got like super into it. I think the idea is really cool and very forward thinking, but the output, like the product, didn't really like make me crazy. It also never came in my size before now. This is the only pair that there's an actual 13 in. So maybe that played a part psychologically. I couldn't get it. So I was just like, well, I don't, you know, I mean, it's not driving me crazy because I know I just can't have it anyway. That didn't really change, even up to the point of getting these in my hand. Battery's about to die. Hold on. Even up to the point of getting these in my hands, I saw them at 747. Shout out to my man, Jay Brown, for getting these for me because I didn't win any raffles other than the Babe Dames. But yeah, so anyway, even when I got these in my hands, I really was just kind of like, eh, okay, whatever, you know, not really, it's not exciting me yet. And I didn't have any knowledge about what was going on yet, but I wasn't like, super stoked. It kind of just felt a weird version of an ultra boost or pure boost, you know, to me. But upon further inspection, wearing them, just kind of getting into the idea, the whole idea of the shoe, I'm, I like them a lot and how it feels. Cause I really just thought it wasn't going to feel that good, but I, I was wrong. I was straight up wrong. They're really, really comfortable. So let's get, uh, let's get started. So a few things. First off, they, Partially, who the fuck do we even start? All right, so let's start with the oranges. The orange motif. This exists um, because the place where the 747 event took place, 747 Warehouse Street, was an old orange factory. 
And so in that tour that we did in the warehouse, you kind of saw the whole orange setup. What they did was they moved, I guess they brought pieces or another version or something. They, they brought parts of the Speed Factory to 747. And this shoe or these shoes, I guess all, all of the pairs that were there, Jeez. were partially built at 747. So this shoe was partially made at the 747 event. I don't know exactly what they were doing, but I do feel like they were just putting on the the fuse paneling everywhere. They were just adding those final touches at 747. Still cool nonetheless because your shoe was partially made at the event. So that's cool. Um, and then as far as the colorway goes, the colorway changes for everybody. Every single shoe is different. All of the uppers are cut from one piece of fabric. There's a thousand pairs. The fabric is basically a blown up version of the orange box pattern, you know, like the oranges themselves. And then that's where you get the green and yellow too from the box. Pattern that was on a very big piece of cloth or prime knit, because these are technically prime knit, I think, and then cut up made into uppers and that's why they all look different. So my pair is mostly yellow and orange. Uh, and then there's a little bit of green on my inside heel. And then there's a little bit of green on the back of this. Also got a nice little sloppy swoosh. That's definitely an interesting thing and that even takes the whole individuality part. If you are customizing a shoe to your foot and able to get your own pattern, I'm not necessarily saying that you get to draw your own pattern or whatever, but if you get a unique pattern in your upper, I think that's also a cool idea. It makes everything just a little bit different. So with this shoe, uh, so basically what I've come to realize with this shoe is it's sort of a hybrid of all the other great models from Adidas. So the boost itself is kind of a mix between ultra boost and pure boost it has a lot more arch support and but it's still bouncy and responsive like an ultra boost where i feel like pure boost doesn't bounce back quite as much for me different boost kind of a different cut altogether not a continental sole but there is a new this i mean this is torsion system it's just not the same torsion system the boost has a we have a boost window here that is cut out completely and then this allows your foot to twist and compensates as your foot twists, which is what a torsion system does. Uh, so this is just a, a new one that kind of just looks like, people, a lot of people think this is liquid, which I mean, I guess that would be cool, but I don't know what the purpose would be. So parts that I believe were done at 747 are all of the TPU tapings, the stripes obviously, and then this heel counter, which is fairly stiff and really helps with the heel support on this shoe. If this wasn't there, this would probably be a little bit more floppy and not very supportive in the heel, but I mean, it. It really, this really helps. And now again, I think I even said, one thing I've learned at the Adidas Makers Lab is how they're trying to attach the technology to the upper itself um, just by building on it and making certain areas more supportive. So it's cool. An inner heel liner here. You can definitely feel there's just sort of a hard, there's just a hard support system in the back. It's not just knit all throughout. And then same thing with the, same thing with the lace eyelets. These laces are flat laces. So that is interesting. Lace swapping would be a little bit harder. I don't normally lace slop anyway. And then the uh, laceless band-aid tab has returned. So, but it's vertical this time and I don't hate it. And there's Adidas AM4 branding that you really can't see, but it says AM4. And so down to the knit. So this doesn't technically, I don't know, it's not, well, it's not the same prime knit that you're used to, that's for sure. But this PK is definitely different, not nearly as stretchy as normal, but still very comfortable. And even after a day, it's breaking in and it's definitely not as stiff as when I first got it. When I first got the shoe, the upper just kind of felt like a cheap version of an Ultra Boost to me. I was like, all right, I don't really, and it's the shoe's not cheap. It's like, okay, I don't really love this uh, from looks alone, I don't really know. But now I just realize it's, it's just a hybrid. Like it's got a little bit of the Ultra Boost vibe. It's got a little bit of the NMD vibe. Like I said, Pure Boost. So it's got a little bit of everything. There's more to meets the eye on the shoe itself as far as technology goes because a lot of the tech in this shoe is on the inside. Most of the TPU taping is on the inside where you'd normally have a cage. So you have an internal cage that helps keep your foot supportive. Actually, again, makes the shoe really comfortable. After kind of dissecting the shoe and getting into it, I think it's really smart. Smart. I, I, the stories behind it, the idea behind it, where it's going, how they're implementing feedback from the consumer, or at least we're getting there, is super cool. Um, it's something that other shoe companies really, if they're doing, I don't know about it. And I, I just think that it's another one of the reasons why I really, really rock with Adidas. Because they're, they're thinking forward, and they're thinking about um, the consumer experience and what the consumer desires. Not the hype beast experience or the hype beast desire, because that's a never ending 
but the modern consumer and I just think that we're on the cusp of uh, being able to print shoes at home so don't ask me how that shit works I don't know but I just think we're on the cusp of it. Um, and then as far as insole goes there is a thin insole that is removable so if you need to size down you can a lot of people say this shoe is baggy on them I disagree I'm starting to think when you have a big foot things fit different than when you have like a smaller foot but this is perfect if I size down this area right here would be cutting into my foot like crazy that's not even an option for me especially since it has the piping around it, like a, sort of a mesh NMD or some other NMDs, but not like the uh, PK, PK NMDs. But yeah, it's a little different, so. And then 3M, 3M laces, black. Black and 3M laces, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is mine, the ones that you have are gonna look different. Some have green all up in this mode, like crazy, but yeah, my, I like mine. I like my, uh, like my, uh, I like my swagger here. I like my, I like my arm, my tangy. Ern should have really gotten these since their tangy got it out. I don't know what he's doing sleeping on these shoes. Apparently there's only a thousand pairs of them. Who knows? I don't really, that's what they say. I don't really know what the word exclusive or limited means anymore. But that's the story and until I hear another one, I guess I'll stick to it. There's a shoe. There they are. That's the day. I'm out of here. Peace. Oh, I don't know what resale's like on these. Probably not crazy, but I don't know. If you got 13s and they got cool patterns, holler at me. I might talk to you about it, because I don't want to mix and match a bunch of these. So. All right, I'm out. Peace. these off Teddy this morning for retail. I am now going to go ahead. You know, it's funny. I wanted to sell these. I said this. I said the ultimate troll would be to um, get these from Teddy, sell them on stock, take the money, buy two pairs, and complete my collection. What's fucked up is I bought these off Teddy and he knew I was gonna, and it's, he bought me another pair to complete my collection that he's giving me. So, I've been planning on doing this and I gotta follow through now, but it's uh, it's kind of a dick move. Um, let's see, we'll see what Teddy thinks because I'm gonna send him this video as soon as we're done. All right, here we go. So, we need to get StockX, which is here. Connect with my Twitter. StockX wants to open Twitter. Go ahead, connect with Tangy God. That was easy. All right, buying, selling, portfolio. Selling. Current pending. You don't have anything listed, but if you did, we'd show you here. So what are you waiting for? What am I waiting for? I had a middleman, dude. You don't need to know where these things are coming from. Coming from me. I know these are real, but I guess whoever wants to buy them can know they're real. It's an item for sale. Let's go. All right. Edit billing info. PayPal checkout. We'll just do. Nice and easy. I actually don't think Teddy will be mad. He's out here giving away some, uh, paying the differences on some people's bids, so he won't be mad at me for flipping this shoe and copping too. PayPal's in. 
my address is in. Okay. Now, will it let me use PayPal? Let me use PayPal for selling. I need to get a valid card on file because I need to go get my PayPal card. All right, so I'm back. Got my card. I think I fucking got my card. Oh, we're not gonna show you what my card looks like, but this, you just position it in the frame and it will shoot your card. So that makes life easy. I don't have to type shit in. Another easy step. Oh, okay, just type this in. This has really been easy so far because I hate this kind of shit. To the bathing apes. I may have to take pictures. Payout method, PayPal. It's fucking beautiful. Great, because my card is attached to my PayPal, so break from selling? Nah, we ain't on vacation, dog. We out here putting in motherfucking work. Oh my God, did I sit on my joint? That's the right pocket. Add an item. So can I add the item and then sell it? Okay. Dame for bait. That's the camo one. Black, green, gum. Select size. Okay, I see this. Put the size here, 13. Condition dead stock. Purchase date, we got them in February. We got them in, we got the purchase price. Is that what I wanna sell them for? Let's first look at these and see, before I get to selling and adding items or whatever, let's just search. Let's see what the market is looking at for this dame. That would probably be the better move. Last sale, 380, 380. What were they at retail? 150 each, great. So 150, they're selling for 350. Add to portfolio, sell now. Sell now, market value. So if I hit sell now, now I can ask. If I sell right now, I can sell for 325. Lowest ask is 359. I'm gonna do 340. You're about to be the lowest ass. My sneakers are new, unworn, original, and damaged box. It will ship within two days to avoid penalties. List. Done. Ask has been placed. It was that easy. Well, now we wait. Started editing the video, and seconds later, four minutes ago, we sold your item. You need to ship your item to StockX within two business days for authentication. You'll receive payment as soon as we authenticate it. Dude, that is the fastest we sell ever by only just outselling somebody by $10.